So to install a UFR driver for your Canon photocopier, first you want to go to the Canon website. So that is canon.com.au. And then if you hover over Canon for business and go to drivers and downloads, at this point, you'll be able to type in the model number of your machine. If you don't know the model number, it should be written up either near the screen or down near the paper drawers. So let's say we're getting a 5860. It'll then filter down to your photocopier type. Click on it. Scroll down until you find the generic plus UFR2 printer driver. Click on that. And then you want to download the printer driver. First, you'll have to agree to the terms and conditions. Once it's downloaded, run the executable. This will then unpack the driver. And it should be sitting inside of your downloads. So here you can go, there's the executable. Here's the folder that it's unpacked. And then run the setup. Select next, and you will need to agree to the license agreement. And then what you want to do is do a search for the printer. If you know the printer's IP address or you can configuring it with a USB connection, choose that, but typically it'll be on the network. So at that point, you want to go standard and reactivate printers in sleep mode. So if your printer is in sleep mode, it's still detectable. Tick the Canon driver information assist service and say yes. So then it'll go through and look for any photocopiers that are on the network. And here you can see it's detected two printers. So even though we don't have the exact same model on our network, it's still detected a different kind of, it's still detected a different Canon printer. So select the printer that you want to install and tick it. If you want to install multiple printers, you can say select all, click next, and then start. The system will then register and install your printer. Once it's finished, it'll show you that it's finished. You don't need to restart your computer, just hit exit. And now if we go to print, Our new printer shows in the list.